So hey everyone, we might be seeing an ETF pretty much soon. So if that's something you're interested in, welcome back to my channel. This is the Coin Central show where we upload a video on any crypto topic every two hours. So you're very lucky to see one out of 12 videos today because we have a lot of content about if it's good or bad, if it's bad news, good news, anything like that. I'm just here to talk about it. So Welcome back to my channel. This time we're going to be talking about the XRP ETF. I think I made a multiple videos on XRP ETF just because I'm really excited about it. Um, and I want to say that you guys um, on the XRP army have been really supporting my channel. So I really want to thank you. Uh, the videos have been receiving so many likes, so much support. So thanks so much for that. But let's jump right into the XRP ETF. So I do hope it gets listed because that means everybody will be rich. The people who list the XRP ETF and these the people who hold XRP. What? The Bitcoin ETF approval. We know that's out there. We know it's happening. It's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when it will be. So yeah, I think it could definitely happen in the mid-2024. I think the eyes... Uh, at start will not be for any other crypto other than, well, you guessed it, the most important one, Bitcoin. Be approved because quite frankly, there is so much political power and weight and influence behind the approval of this. It's going to happen. BlackRock, uh, you know, Fidelity, JP Morgan, Schwab, all those guys, they want in, right? They want into crypto. Okay. Well, then the next questions are, Hey, is there a possibility of an Ethereum ETF out there? And the answer so, is... So yeah, Ethereum ETF is, is certain. Is absolutely. Well, then the next question is, what about an XRP ETF? Is that in the realm of possibility? And the short answer is yes, with a key factor that we need to consider. I would say yes with a question mark. Like an Ethereum ETF is not 100% certain, but it's not uncertain either in that sense. So that's where... I feel like uh, it's the real difference. Like that's where I feel that the potential, the possibility for an ETF like arises where a lot of people are really excited in that way. Uh, so that is definitely good news overall. Um, but I do feel like that we still have a lot of uncertainty in that sense. Something has to be resolved before that XRP ETF happens. Now, really, three things have to be resolved. We need approval of the Bitcoin ETF. So yeah, Bitcoin ETF approval, that's already set in stone. That's already done and probably will happen. But before ETF can materialize, um, specifically what suggested the legal case involving XRP. So this is what I was talking about, the lawsuit that they had. Um, why would BlackRock list something that the SEC was mad about? Like it doesn't make any sense at all, right? And to me, it it tells like a total the total story. People wouldn't list XRP for for that reason because, like, X, SEC would be like, "Hey, what the heck? We just had a uh, two hundred million lawsuit with these people, and you're here listing it, say like, and it's a security." So that's where I think is the real problem. That's where I think the XRP ETF that people are talking about is a problem in that sense. If they can solve that. Like the legality, like Bitcoin ha ETF has been talked for such a long time. That's where I think the potential rises. But that being said, I definitely do think there is going to be still opportunities in this crypto space um, in the long run. So definitely going to be a lot of cool stuff happening uh, in that sense. So yeah, let's uh, take a look at everything that's happening with crypto right now momentum down buy and sell alerts links in the description below if you want to check it out uh, xrp so let's take a look at what i got for you for xrp so here's what i wanted to show you so xrp is in this really in this consolidation phase and these these yellow lines i've had drawn here now for quite a while this really started around the 12th of november so we are rolling a long time in this consolidation. Now we've tested uh, the we've tested the, the the resistance a couple of times. It's really six, basically sixty four cents, and you can see right now that XRP is trading at sixty two and a half cents. Okay, so XRP, I think we can continue to see this. Now, what's this green box here that I've drawn? Well, this is an event that I'm waiting. So yeah, I feel like a lot of the whales are actually selling a lot of their XRP. That's where I think the huge problem is the massive sell-off of these Ethereum whales 
actually selling their XRP for profit because they probably bought it for a very, very low price. So I feel like that's the biggest issue in that sense. But there is still opportunity to see um, basically crypto growing up, rising, seeing all these term of price gains. Um, and I do feel like we're going to be seeing probably more of cool stuff involved. But again, uh, if you guys like think the XRP ETF is impossible, it's not. It's just like we're it's still a long way ahead and it might take a year or half a year. Uh, that's something I'm going to be talking about in the future. If you guys want to be kept up to date, smash that like button. Peace, everyone. My financial friend posted a new video and every time my financial friend posts a new video, I want to say more content um, because he provides some amazing research and there's a lot to talk about. So here he says, uh, Tyler Hill is on his group. I also wanted to mention that early stages, they're actually having this little group over here and they're sharing some of the news they find to us, which is pretty awesome. I like that. Thank you. BlackRock will buy 10 million worth of Bitcoin tomorrow. And that's the leak that became that actually changed crypto forever. The seed capital will ask the statuary underwriter um, in connection with the purchase. So BlackRock, you know, guys, we all knew it wasn't going to get canceled because BlackRock would be pissed. And that's a lot of money lost for BlackRock. 10 million is chump of change for them. It's just like a sign of good faith. And here's where I think um, that it really has a lot of potential, really has a lot of opportunities, really has a lot of meaning. So if you guys want to be kept up also to date, uh, seems like that the Bitcoin ETF is going to attract tons of new holders, tons of new buyers. So that's something everyone is excited about. And I feel like that people will start to slowly realize, hey, maybe crypto, maybe crypto is not gone after all. Maybe it's coming back. And that's exactly what we are going to see in the near future with crypto. So that's going to be a fun thing for everyone. Everyone's going to win in that sense. So good, good to hear that. But Let's talk about the more important stuff and where are what are the big whales doing? You can actually see the best thing about crypto. You can see what the big whales want to do, what they are doing and what they will do. And that's what I find really exciting. If you ask me, there's probably not as like many crypto points as as we saw. There's probably not as as uh, many people or many transactions when you want to look at something in the real world there is no way to check that you can't you can just ask them for the bank account right but here in crypto you can do almost anything and i think this is where the big potential lies there's going to be a ton of opportunities ton of uh potential content uh and here's where i think that the crypto markets will really have a huge rally so that's going to be pretty awesome um i definitely think that Right now, what we're seeing is just the beginning of the big market rise as we wanted to see that. But that being said, let's take a step forward and check on if the big whales are buying. And they definitely are. Look at this. This guy bought $168 million. I'm not joking. He added 6,000 Bitcoin. Uh, imagine just adding 6,000 Bitcoin to your wallet. Now, ain't that crazy? To me, it is. To me, it definitely is. So... Uh, definitely looks like a good opportunity overall. And I feel like a lot of crypto whales, they are going to be here for the long term. They're going to have a huge, huge price difference. So that's going to be uh, pretty, pretty cool. But that being said, let's, uh, let's consider, let's consider this a, a fair challenge. You know, a lot of the crypto whales, they're really here for the long term and they're probably going to stay in crypto as well. So that's what I'm really excited about. But uh, that being said, let's take a look at this. Like a dollar or two, five dollars, one dollar. So they've really never taken money out. Now they have three billion dollars of Bitcoin. That's nuts. And they just did this in the last few days. Now, that wasn't yesterday's pump. I mean, I suppose they could be buying on an exchange in King Ray to make another deposit. But look at this, 300, just imagine holding $380 million. That to me is insane. It's it's unparalleled 
with any crypto price differences we're seeing right now, we're probably never going to be seeing price gains like this anymore. Uh, to me, that's really great. It's, it's a scary thought, really. It's a scary thought in the long term sense. Uh, and it really makes you consider how big it actually crypto is and how much bigger it can be. Like it can probably be much, much bigger in that sense. Um, I, I feel like that people in crypto will start to look into the near future. So I definitely think there is room for tons of potential. How is it? But this was from a few days ago. Uh, here's another wallet that just opened up a few days ago and deposited 60. So yeah, I guess these are could be the ETF wallets. I don't know which exact wallets they are, but they definitely caused the Bitcoin pump because this is a lot of money that nobody notices. But a lot of people doing the research on the blockchain, they actually have tons of potential to see like uh, that mar major market rally. So that's where I really feel like um, a lot of people um, aren't aware. Like right now, crypto is rising. It is going up. It is we're seeing exactly what we wanted to see. And I think that's the good factor about it. Like we wanted to see this for some time. Uh, and these whales buying this, like this has to be institutions who has like just 38 million to add to a new wallet. They probably have like some employees over there. But I'll keep you guys updated with more news. If you guys want more con like this, you know what to do. Smash that like button. I'll keep you guys updated. Peace, everyone. Hey, everyone. Welcome back to another video. This time we're going to be looking at Goldman Sachs had expects pension funds to search with crypto ETFs. But I first thought my grandma is going to get ETFs, but now I'm not too sure because something else happened. And that's exactly what we're going to be looking in today. If that's something you're interested in, smash that like button and I'll keep you guys updated with more awesome news uh, because that's what we're doing on this channel. But that being said, let's take a look at everything crypto related. So right now, what we are seeing is crypto basically taking a huge price bump, which is good. We all wanted to see a huge price bump, right? Yeah. Um, and people have been making articles that crypto will rise. Surprise, surprise. So that is definitely a very exciting factor. I think a lot of people were waiting for. I definitely was. I definitely was waiting for some price jumps. But we got to look at the long term aspect here. The headliner is the set is because the pension funds are going to surge, but that's not what the article says. The article says there will be a surge of investments in crypto from pension funds. Um, that's a very different from pension funds themselves surging. So uh, basically, this is something I was talking about for some time. Approval of Bitcoin and Ethereum ETFs could lead to surge of institutional investment from pension funds and insurance firms. And my grandma is going to be like, oh, I hold 0.05 Bitcoin grandson. So that's going to be great, right? Um, and when they hold that, uh, basically means that everybody will win in that aspect. So it's going to be really good news in the long term for everyone, for pension funds, for your grandma, because crypto will rise most likely, um, and uh, most likely for the big whales for the big ETFs. So there's really no losers. Pension funds buying the top and getting rectitude. I don't know if there will be. Uh, so people don't think we're anywhere near the top. People are saying, oh, why are you doing the pension funds? Because they're going to drop so much. I think it's also going to be a very, very small allocation because crypto right now is so uncertain. So anything could happen at that point. Uh, and that's what's the real problem is like we don't know what will happen uh and 2024 all we know it's powerful all we know there's going to be pension funds and that's what keeps people excited but if you guys want more content like this you know what to do smash that like button i'll keep you guys updated with more content like this and until next time peace everyone so i was right about ada uh, we did it we finally did it uh i have been saying for some time that Ada is going to be probably the next Solana. And we were waiting for this for some time because Solana already saw huge price gains. What does Solana really offer at this price point? Like every whale bought it at this point. So I was always wondering, like, what can it do differently? And here we go. This is exactly what we have all been waiting for. Also, guys, if you haven't already, if you want more content like this, you know what to do. Smash that beautiful like button. Because it really helps me out, it helps you out, it helps everyone out. It's free. But Solana holders, if you're watching, just know this. 
Solana might have not been seeing the gains. So uh, basically, Ada Ada might have not been seeing the gains that we were expecting. Uh, it might have not seen the biggest gains, the biggest price rises, but it's definitely out there. It's definitely going still strong. It's 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 on its on its track, and I think this is the really important. Like slowly but surely, we are seeing all these huge crypto pumps um, happening, and everyone can win in the end beginning now i'm not saying we're just going to absolutely explode from here it's i'm not saying that there's not going to be days where we consolidate but right now the strength in the move that btc made shows just this all right we basically exploded right off the bottom of this trend right we were in this bullish pennant we were looking kind of lazy and we just exploded all the way up through the top side of this we have another day now another 20 you know another green candle that exploded to what would have been a new yearly high breaking almost 46 exactly so it does seem like the whales are in they're in for the long term and that's what i'm excited to see for sure like there is a lot of good opportunities in the market right now today uh definitely more excitement coming soon from all the ada holders all the opportunities arising so like really not bad news overall we have been waiting this for a long, long time. But ADA holders have been waiting for a bull run of price rally since 2018. And finally, it's most likely here. This is what we have been waiting for. So I hope the wait was actually worth it because uh, this is what everyone wanted. You can see that we had a similar kind of mood. Uh, move. Wow. Can't speak this morning, guys. First video I'm doing, by the way. And this move was... Uh, it preceded a, a massive, massive explosion in price. And this is what I talked so, about. So, yeah, it seems like one big whale probably bought in millions. And I do mean mil millions. And that's what really made the change there uh, in that matter. Like, that's what really changed everything is the that one big whale making that big crypto price difference. Uh, seeing those market rallies in the end, everybody won. So that's good news. I love to see that. But I feel like, guys, that ADA still has room to grow in that sense. Like, it still has a lot of price updates, a lot of price predictions. Uh, there is definitely more room to breed in that sense. Because it's just getting started to see ADA basically seeing that, well, price bull run. Uh, but, guys, again, one big whale buying might mean that another whale is selling. So that's what I one thing I'm worried about. But if you want more content like this, smash that like and I'll keep you guys updated with more news. Until next time, peace everyone. Haven't been talking about Shiba Inu for a week now. I wanted to see what happens with it. So smash that like button if you haven't already because we are going to be launching Luxite's crypto on Shiba Inu. 553. What's that? That's a lot of numbers. That's 100,000. That's 100 million. 500 five half a trillion i think that's about 400 trillion in supply i think a lot of it was burned so i really wonder how much of ship tokens there is like every single token burned that's cool but it doesn't make a dent in the large crypto space of shiba inu if we got more burns we could also get up to the to a dollar it's not impossible people call me crazy for it but we need to see those burns um and what is exactly shiba inu doing we're going to check that out. It's basically in order for SHIB price to double, to, to open up the door for much bigger gains. We need to work through the largest sections where SHIB... We need to convince the whales or we need to convince them somehow, like even doing 0.1% burns that wouldn't make that much of an impact uh, on the blockchain. Migrating, like doing a soft migration and burning all these tokens. I think that would be incredible. So to me, that would be absolutely insane. Uh, I don't know if it's going to happen though. But just imagine if we got all those big burns, everybody would be happy in a sense, like everyone would be excited. Uh, and that's where the good news would come from. But again, nothing is certain on where we go from here. Nobody knows for sure. So I think that's the problem right now is people just aren't too sure what's going to happen with crypto in the near or long-term aspect especially with ship like ship right now has been getting a lot of updates developments but the price hasn't been going up being it was acquired and this 553 trillion ship is what signifies that okay so what this is is this is the range from four zeros one one which is basically where we're sitting at currently all the way up through 
4027. This is where this 553 trillion SHIB was acquired. And now, so I guess this was uh, 553 trillion. Maybe I looked at it wrong. Um, but to these holders to break even on this position, uh, 317, 18,000, 300K people bought at the minimum price of 0, 0.00, bought the set quantity at the average price and the maximum price of 0, 0.027. So he's basically looking at charts over here. And what this tells me is Shiba whales have a lot of selling pressure. They can basically sell anytime they want. Like this is the big problem with crypto right now, with this crypto, with Shiba Inu, is there's just a ton of whales. So I think everyone's slightly worried in that sense. Like everyone is uncertain of where will Shiba Inu go. But I am hopeful. I am remaining hopeful for SHIB and I like Shiba Inu project. Uh, I think it's a it's a cool project. I think uh, there is still excitement. There's still profit to be made. But I think there's also other competition that like Shiba Inu really was the spark of 2021. But 2024 might be Solana, might be ADA, might be Caspa, might be a token we haven't even heard of. And I think this is where the real excitement comes in in that sense, like which project is going to be the best. Nobody knows for sure. I definitely do hope though that we get like the point started for SHIP. If you guys want more content like this, smash that like button. I'll keep you guys updated with more news. Until next time, peace everyone.